You're going to hear an audio tape of Grandma Yola Banker, Grandma Yola Martinet, Martina, and I'm going to show you photos of the family. This is where Grandma Yola and Grandpa Bob lived uh, all the while where uh, when uh, my mom Yolanda Ilani was in high school, and then after that for quite a bit until... Uh, after I was born, 9863, you can see the pool there, um, some of the little trees and bushes, and that's uh, in the pool. It's my mom's first husband, Al. Uh, LeCount, I think, and then uh, that's a cute picture of Grandma Yola. And she helped me study some, quite a bit. She helped my mom, too, study. Never fear, Grandma's here. The frequency of an allele in a population can be altered by natural selection. Mutation, mig migration, non-random mating, and genetic drift sampling errors. Oh my God. You never give up, you never give up. Da -da 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 -da. No matter how hard it is, you never give up, you never give up. And that's what makes it right. I was going to tell you that. My mom and dad just loved chestnuts. That was, um, uh, they have a season, which is uh, around Christmas time. And, um, or, you know, before. And whenever the chestnuts uh, were ready to, uh, were on the market, we would have to go and buy some right away because they just loved them. And um, they have a lot of them. I'm not, I think in Pinata, but I know there's a hole where my dad's from, you know, just up the mountain a little bit. San Secondo. Where my dad's from, you know, just up the mountain a little bit. In, um, oh, what's the name of that town? Um, Piala, uh, uh, Not Faro Stino, right? No. It's, oh, quite, um, I know, um. Uh, well, anyhow, that town. Yeah, he had some, um, well, a lot of chestnuts up there? Uh, uh, yeah, it's, they just grow in the forest. Uh -huh. And, I mean, maybe they've got them cultivated now, I don't know. But one of the biggest chestnut trees, I think, in, around that area was not very far from my mom and dad. I'm just sorry we didn't take a picture of it, you know. Cause maybe it's still some, some of it's still there, you know. I don't know how long chestnuts live, but you know what? <laughs> she means chestnut trees. <laughs> how long chestnut trees live? <laughs> well, some, some of it's still there, you know. I don't know how long chestnuts live, but you know what? Um, when I used to go for a walk in um, in Arcadia, mm -hmm. I would go buy a chestnut tree, and if we ever go back again, and I can. Um, walk a little bit. I'll stop where I think where it is and I think I'll show you. So, uh, I think on the farm in Italy, uh, in Pinarolo, it's hazelnut trees that they have. They have like a, a grove of hazelnut trees. Um, my Ida's, Ida Martinet, or Ida Rivoir Martinet, her sister's family um, has uh, hazelnut trees, and I think they sell them to uh, put them in those uh, famous Italian candies, the bocce and things like that. That's so, uh, you know, Ida's sister was Clelia Morello. Clelia Rivoire Morello and then Clelia's um, 
you know, daughters, Eva and Eliana. It's, uh, it was Eva's side, Eva Bonetto's side of the family that ended up with the uh, hazelnut trees, I think. The uh, next photo is <clears throat> of Grandma Yola's dad, Dante, uh, right at 9863, but before the house was built. So that's just the the pool. The pool was built before the house because it was the pool in the yard of 9855 where they had where Grandma Yola and Grandpa Bob had been living before. Mm -hmm. I think what it is, and I think I'll show you. That does I, well. uh -huh. It does well in our kitchen? Well, I don't know. This one did. Yeah. But I think if we could ever go to um, Ukaipa to get um, apples, mm -hmm. that they have chestnuts there. Oh. They grow there. And um, so... We'll, um, we'll, we'll see him grow. It's a, it's a beautiful tree. And did your mom and dad ever make any, uh, sort of recipe with, um... No, 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 they just ate them like we eat the walnuts. Yeah? Mm -hmm. No, no special recipe at all, really? Mm -mm. But my right. friend, but my friend Mari, you know Mari, you yeah. hear me talking about her? Oh, that's always a tradition, she said, what? that they stuff the turkey with a chestnut dressing. Oh, wow. That was a, and it's very, very um, sort of fancy, like if you go to a fancy place to eat, you know, that the chestnut uh, is the dressing. Definitely, and um, like, uh, do they have chestnuts in anything else? Or? Well, you know, they have them. I'll show them to you sometimes. You know what they look like at all? No, not really. Mm. First, they have a husk on them that with spindly little thing, with, with sharp little things, you know. Mm -hmm. And then inside is the nut. And uh, then uh, they have uh, uh, like a, a walnut, you know. So yeah. Like a shell, I guess. I think in this photo in the upper left-hand corner, it might possibly be the row of um, plum trees. There was like a row of plum trees kind of where the driveway is now at 9863, at the very end of the property. So I think that would be just about the right location depending on which way we're looking here, <laughs> but it's possible. And the next photo is going to be a uh, photo of Dante again, Gamiola's dad, and then my mom Lonnie, Yolanda, Lonnie. The nut. And uh, then uh, they have uh, uh, like a, a walnut, you know. So you have to take just, that off. So you have to take that off. Or... When you roast them, now wait a minute. I think if you put them, yeah, some segundo. That's, that's where right. your mom and dad That's right. And if you roast them in the oven, you don't take, of course, when you buy them at the store, that green thing, um, it, it, which is green when it's growing, and then it falls off when it's ripe. Mm -hmm. Just like a hazelnut. Yeah. I guess that would be like the outer shell, maybe, something like that. One, or outer husk. Um, it, it, which is green when it's growing, and then it falls off when it's ripe. Mm -hmm. Just like a hazelnut. Yeah? So that's how you can kind of tell it's ripe then? Pardon me? You can kind of tell if it's ripe then, if the green has fallen Yeah, yeah. If, that fall, if it gets real brown and then it falls off, then it's ready to eat. And so, you know, I've had chestnuts. I grew up with chestnuts, and I don't know why I didn't like them. And I, I, to me, they're, oh, I guess I'll have to try them again. They're rather tasteless after. Maybe roasted or something, you okay? Know, maybe that up. might have to be. A, a, but you can buy them as a fancy. And the next photo is of Grandpa Bob's airplane, his Mooney. 
Mooney airplane that he owned, and he uh, stored it at El Monte Airport, which has been renamed the San Gabriel Valley Airport. Uh, you can tell it's a Mooney because of the tail kind of sticking forward like that. And uh, you can see this is the El Monte Airport with the hangars there on both sides. Those are the hangars. And um, I don't know if you can see the, uh, the mountains in the background. It's the San Gabriel Mountains. That was his plane number. And you see the tail says Van Dusen. Well, maybe this isn't the one that he owned then. Um, maybe this is the one that they gave him for his work. I remember he used to have hats that said Van Dusen. Van Dusen. Some kind of supplies. Airplane. No, aircraft. Aircraft supplies. Van Dusen. So, yeah, Grandpa Bob, Robert Lemuel Banker, he worked for Van Dusen Company and delivered airport aircraft supplies to different places that, you know, needed different parts for the airplanes. Um, so... And this photo is of Grandpa Bob's side of the family. So Grandpa Bob, Robert Lemuel Banker, his brother, um, Paul Banker, also known as Lefty. Uh, Lefty had uh, a daughter, Bonnie. And this is Bonnie. And that's her husband. He worked for the fire department. Um, and I'm not exactly sure who this is, but I think the girl is my mom, Yolanda Lani. Oh, definitely my mom, Yolanda Lani, <coughs> banker, Coates. And then uh, I'm just not sure who the little boy is. It must have just been a, a neighbor friend or something. Although they're kind of holding hands. <laughs> but yeah, he must have been a neighbor friend. And I think it looks like that was taken at 9835. 9835. When it was just the small house before the addition, no upstairs and uh, just a very small house downstairs, not the big living room or the big bedroom or the big bathroom. Uh, that's where Grandma Yola's parents lived, 9835. I'm just not sure where this was taken. And this photo is of my mom, Yolanda Lonnie Banker Coates. And I'm pretty sure it was taken out uh, when she was getting her Farm D. So probably USC in the uh, pharmacy lab. You know, you had to do labs uh, to pass the courses. And uh, if I had to guess, I'm pretty sure this would be... Uh, at the lab.
I guess only 10% of the students were female in pharmacy at that time. And since it's reversed, you know, now most of the pharmacists are female, but not at that time, around 1967 or so. I think that's when she graduated. She looks vibrant right there. You know how you keep your hair looking so nice. And then, uh, yeah, I think uh, back in those days, the women couldn't wear pants for some reason. Either they couldn't wear them or it just wasn't, you know, you'd be the only one kind of thing. So you wore a skirt, but you had to wear um, like nylon stockings. You couldn't just have your bare leg there. It had to be like nylon stockings. And um, something about the labs would bother her nylon stockings, I guess. Or maybe she wishes, you know, she said she wished she could wear pants because, uh, you know, with the labs, maybe you have a chemical that uh, might, you know, I don't know, drip a little bit or something that gets on your nylon stockings and probably burns, but it wouldn't if, if you had pants on. I forgot the details, but something like that. 